Oh wow, here's the here's the the great cutscene right here. There's not even any like speech or anything like in a good game. You know, I mean, most good games will at least have speech during like the actual cutscenes. Well, I will at least give him credit for actually using a couple of the characters that aren't Axel from the first film. Although I get the feeling that these are just going to be the characters in name only, just like Axel in this game. And, like, I'd just like to put this out again. This is not Axel, okay? This is not Axel Foley, this is not Eddie Murphy, okay? He's just some random, generic, bald guy. Okay, this looks more like Vin Diesel than it does Axel Foley. I mean, hell. <laughs> I mean, then again, I mean, even Vin Diesel is too good for this shit. So, yeah, like Tang said in his review, that first level is completely pointless. So, somehow, I was able to get through that first level, even though, yeah, like I said, that first level is sod all to do with the rest of the game, so it's like, it's literally just there to pad out the game. You know, and that's pretty much what this game is. It's just padding the stealth game. That's what they should have called just padding. That's what it should be. This is because this is not Beverly Hills Cop. Okay, I don't care if the main character is called Axel Foley. This is not Beverly Hills Cop. Okay, it's it's shit. <laughs> That's what this game is. It is fucking terrible. Oh god. Okay, so now we're at the warehouse. Infiltrate the warehouse and rescue Billy. Watch out for security. And any shady goings on? Of course, there's gonna be shady goings on. Okay, they're catching a police officer. <sighs> like, even the writing in the game, just that alone is fucking terrible. And I guarantee this is gonna be like the same shit as the first level. Like, if an enemy spots you, you lose. So, thankfully, I'm already in the building this time. Um, so, is this guy. Okay, this guy isn't, isn't an enemy by looks things. No, he's a security guard. So let's do this. <laughs> Pest control. You motherfuckers are gonna kill all my lilies! <laughs> ah, classic Patrick Stewart. Okay. So I managed to get through that. Uh, thankfully the Pope right at the beginning. So at least if you fail it this time, you don't have to go through an ordeal just to get to it again. So, are the enemies gonna shoot me? Or are they not? Here comes the moment of truth. Uh, well, I guess not because uh, because I can't really uh, shoot them. Or I guess if I do shoot them, I'll probably lose. Which I'm not going to begrudge the game for that because that at least kind of makes sense in this context. Guess I'll have to find another way through. Yeah, as opposed to just press the button to unlock the door. <laughs> Okay, so, let's see if this works. All of this, it says press X to operate, but it does nothing. Okay, I know it's got that icon up there saying that I shouldn't do that. But it's like, what the hell am I supposed to do around here? It's just a bunch of, like, featureless shelves and boxes. Yeah, the security guard. There must be a new guy, I get to work. That's about, fuck you. <laughs> That's about, I got this fucking gun out and I'm gonna shoot you in the face. Yeah, so busy guarding this door. You haven't gotten it well, because I just opened it with a key card. <sighs> Let's just have a moment of clarity. <laughs> just, just to reflect on how bad this game is. <laughs> oh, God. Like, what the hell is this a warehouse for, anyway? Oh, here we go, another conversation. Okay, I'll go. I'll go get my game face on for this. Okay. Okay. Uh. Okay. It seems to be going faster every time. Okay. So got through that. So let's do this. Okay. I don't get this. So that allows me to activate the other thing. That makes no sense. Like, surely it would make more sense. To just activate the other thing and then just get through. But like I said, they need to pad this game out somehow. So, yeah, they're just going to make you do that. You know, I mean, that's the whole reason why you can't restart from a checkpoint. There, there are no checkpoints in this game. At least not as far as I'm aware. There certainly were any checkpoints in the first level. So why would I have any reason to believe there are checkpoints in the subsequent levels? Ugh. Yeah, I mean... 
I know I'm complaining a lot, but this game was just that terrible. So, I, okay, that makes no sense. So, you would think, the hell? What even happened there? Like, I, I like, randomly, like, levitated for a second, and now it's gone to a cutscene. So, apparently, i got to sneak past these guys, otherwise I'm going to lose. Great. Of course, I can't even see the hell. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's, that's great. So apparently I walked, like, I started to step to my left, and then I, like, levitated. What the hell is this nightmare? Who knows. So, of course, because there's no radar, I can't see where the enemies are. And if I, so the thing is, if I try looking through here, it, it like, glitches. So I've got this guy. Oh, he's armed. And, okay, I think the, I think the enemies pace back and forth. Uh, oh, and of course I can't go through there. Ugh. I, I assume they need pace back and forth. Like, what the hell else are they doing? Oh, so look, look at the way the world glitches. Like, when it's like off to the side. Look at this. Looks terrible. Which is, which is no surprise because the whole game looks terrible. But you know. Okay, and I desperately knew I don't want to lose here. Because if I lose here, this is going to be... You know. That's the thing. Like, I don't want... Like, I desperately don't want to get caught in these pits. Because... See, look at that. Like, what even spotted me there? And, of course, it randomly fails me again. Again, why not just have it so that if an enemy spots you, you can shoot them? Okay, if it wasn't for this bullshit mechanic, this game might at least be tolerable. But no, they, they, get, they have to make the game as bullshit as possible, just to pad it in. Because I guarantee it, like, if this game was actually made playable, you could probably beat it in, like, 20 minutes. But, of course, it's taken me, like, nearly an hour just to get to the second mission. Well, it's probably more like 50 minutes, but still. I wasn't checking, okay, I've got more important things to worry about, like, getting through this shit. So, let's do this. Okay, so we go through here. It seems weird, like, why doesn't this guy open the door for you? Surely he would have the key card to open it. You know, it's like, I mean, clearly the game developers would, whoa. Let's try this, actually. <laughs> I might have figured out, okay. See, the problem is you can't jump in this game. Or if there is, I haven't figured out how to do it. None of the buttons jump. In fact, the only buttons that seem to do anything are X, Circle, L1, and L2. Like, the other buttons don't seem to do anything. So let's try this again. Let's go through all this nonsense again. Just to activate that thing that lets me get to the next section. Even though, you know, I mean, it looks like it would activate a conveyor belt. Because that's what it looks like. But no, it doesn't activate anything. It just gets a box out of the way. Okay. Thankfully, I've gotten pretty good at these. Yeah, it's a good thing. It's a good thing I've been able to do those. Because if not, I'll be even more pissed off at this. You see, it like that, like you think, like it doesn't make any sense. Like, why can't Axel just like push the box out of the way manually? I mean, come on, even I could probably push that box. And it's like, it's like the developers. I mean, like I said, they just were not thinking when they made this game. Either that, or they had to develop this game in like ten minutes. And basically had to come up with the best, you know, just basically had to come up with whatever they could think of in that time. Actually, 10 minutes is probably being uh, optimistic with this game. <laughs> so we got to go through here again and get spotted again. Go with the camera angle right here. I don't really get it. And it's like, like if this part, like if there was a radar here... Or even if just the the aim the um the enemy AI actually worked properly. Look at this. I'm right in front of him. Doesn't spot me. But when I walk like directly behind him, he spots me. At least that's what it looks like anyway. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Okay, maybe I did something wrong. So let's let's see what happens if I hide here. Am I gonna get spotted? Nope. So let's hide here. So apparently, standing behind this... Oh, I love that boy. 
Yeah, eat this, you cunt. Oh, wait, so now it doesn't fail me. So, oh, or I guess it does fail me. Oh, like, what the hell? So, even though I shot the guy, it still fails the mission. You know what? I think... I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to beat this mission, and then I'm probably just going to, like, take a break from this piece of shit. Because I desperately need to play something that doesn't suck. 